Hey guys, this is Harsh from Tech Gadget. In this video, I'm going to show the top 10 apps for the month of December 2018. So, with that being said, let's get started. The first app on the list is GCloud. This application, once you sign in, will give you 1 GB of storage in which you can save your contacts, call logs, and messages. You can also save photos and videos. I don't prefer you to do that in case you want to just have the 1 GB and don't want to pay for extra. So yeah, for photos and videos, I prefer you to store them in your Google Photos. So yeah, this app does that and I feel like it is a very good app. The next app on the list is Edge Action. This application, once you give the permissions and enable that, you get this kind of edge display thing which is present on Samsung S series and Note series devices. It can have a lot of customizations in the app itself like when do you want it to work and when you want to hide it and you can also change some colors of it and other stuff to so check it out in case you want that feature on your smartphone. The next app on the list is Assistant Shortcut. In case your mobile is running Android 7 or above, you know that when you long press the home button you get the Google Assistant. In case you don't want that feature and you want something else to work instead of for that long press, this is the app. I have enabled it for turning on the flashlight so when I long press it, uh, so as you can see the flashlight turns on. And if I do the same thing again, the flashlight turns off. So you can also do some other stuff like take screenshot, this is but some is for only Pi or higher. As you can see even locking also for that and also you can help a split screen if you want to do that. So yeah this is a good app in my opinion. The next app on the list is Reachability Cursor. This will be useful for those who have big phones and can't use it single handed. So what this application is you can just navigate to like this in case you want to read something which is in the top and you can't do it single handed. Just drag it like this and you get this kind of thing and just tap on it in case you want to open it. It's pretty simple and just you need to give some few permissions and you get this feature. I feel like it will be very useful for those who have big phones. So yeah, in case you have it, try this out. It's a very good app. The next app on the list is Hermit. This application lets you to create the web pages as an application in your smartphone. For now, I have created Facebook. As you can see, now you are getting that. When you slide like this, you get some other additional options like enabling that night mode and doing the other stuff so let me show you what night mode looks like as you can see this is the night mode itself and yeah you have you can even go back to the light mode itself you also have more customization this is like a web page interface uh, which you can use as an app in via this application the next app on the list is notice here this application lets you to save your notifications that you get in your android smartphone you can set which apps you want to get be saved over here like in case you want whatsapp facebook and all those stuff one good thing is like in case a person deletes the whatsapp message he sent you can view that via this application as well so this is a pretty good app the next app on the list is snaptube this application lets you to download videos from different sources like youtube and other stuff let me show you how to do that as you can see, suppose, for example, I choose a video and this yellow clapping pops up and I can press that and I can download it with whatever quality I want. It gives us very good options in this. So yeah, it's a very good app in my opinion. The next app on the list is Fluid in Navigation Gesture. Once you give the permissions and enable it, which I will do and I will continue. As you can see, I've enabled and given the required permissions and now you get the gesture based navigation in this. You can set up like what you want, like long swipe and small swipe from where you want and even left heads to go to recent tabs. You can set whatever you want, like opening up notification and other stuff. I've set like swipe up to go home, long swipe to go to the recent tabs. It works pretty good. So yeah, it'll be good for those who has 18 inch 9 displays which doesn't have uh, physical buttons in the bottom. Since mine have it, it doesn't make any sense to have these gestures. Cause it's annoying at times when I do it like this, it does interfere with these buttons below. So yeah, this is a pretty good app, which has good. The next app on the list is Auto Ash. What this application does is it gives you some hashtags related to the photo you upload in this, which you can share via Instagram and other stuff. Let me take a proto and continue. 
as you can see i took a photo of something and it does give hashtags related to that it is not 100 percent accurate but it does get the job done it also finds the location which you are currently at and gives the hashtag so yeah it doesn't give the location of where you have taken it so keep that in mind and you can even edit it whatever you want like in case you have taken it somewhere else and it shows wherever you are you can just erase it and type whatever you want and finally you can just copy it and paste it wherever you want so it's a pretty good app the last app on the list is an icon pack which i use personally with the nova launcher which is the pixel icon pack this gives you a stockish android like icon packs to your android smartphone as you can see these are the icon packs how they look so yeah because it's clean stockish look i prefer this pixel icon pack these were the top 10 apps for the month of december 2018 hope you liked the video by the way all the links to the apps will be in the description below if you liked the video press the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already after you subscribe make sure to press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future content so that's it thanks for watching till next time this is harshit and i'll see you in my next video